Ready for some more menu A3? Awesome. We're going to start with the first note of the second phrase. Ooh, easy E, but it's not actually an E string E. It's our fourth finger on the A string. Can you guess why? It's because we just played a D string note and we don't want to hop up to E string. That's pretty painful. So instead, we'll play it as a fourth finger on A and that's going to help our next little bit of the phrase. Four, mm hmm, hey, that, that's probably enough. Dum, da, dum, E, C, D. What fingers do we use to play those notes? Well, we know where A lives. Okay, A is always that second space. A, one, two. Good, it's our second finger. A, one, two, three. Ah, oh, great, third finger on A. And I know from listening so many times that those notes are slurred together. So let's put the slur in there, a legato slur. Okay, a bit pale. Cool, so our bow's going down, a hop. And if you take a look at your music, I'm pretty sure the down bow is marked, but I know that the up ups are not marked. Hey, you wanna know my neat code for bowing? When I see this shape, I think it looks a little bit like two arrows pointing down, and that's how I know my bow goes down to the ground. And when I see this shape, it looks a little like two arrows pointing up, and that's how I know my bow is going up to the sky. So we're playing down, ah, up. Mm, any more information that could be useful? Well, I know how it sounds already, but if I wasn't sure about where to put my second finger, I would have to look at the key signature. And in the key signature of this piece, there's only one sharp. Hmm. If I color the middle of my sharp in, it's gonna tell me which note it's making sharp. E lives in the space, so that must be F. F sharp. Oh, are any of these notes F? Nope, okay, then none of these notes are sharp. I'm playing E natural, C natural, and D natural. So I'm going to play a low two, okay? Squishy next to my first finger two. And sometimes this is a little tricky to get in tune because it feels like a big space between my four and my two. We played it in menu A1 when we played three, two, one, A, three, four, two, one, A, three. So it's the same idea. Okay, ready to play. Four, two, three, let's do it. Set fourth finger up nicely, make sure it's right on its tip. Ready, play. Set two on. Good. If I heard this, I would not be so happy. Listen again to my one. Ready, set, play. Two. Good. Again, ready, set, fourth finger right on its tip. Eyeballs, wrist, straight bow, go. I don't think my fourth finger rang. I think my fourth finger should ring. Yeah, it's got to make my E string ring in sympathy, otherwise it's out of tune. Set fourth finger on, tip, straight bow, play. One more time, ready, play. Do you have a legato slur? Listen to your straight bow again, make sure it's smoothly moving up, play. Better. Ready for the next hit? Okay, here's the next note. I'll just give you one and then we'll chat about it. Ya, da, da, da. <gasps> it's another E. But do we play fourth finger A or open E? Can't really decide right now. We need to know what's coming next before we make our decision. Right now, I think it should stay on the A string. I think I just changed my mind. This is first finger on E string. Okay, there's E in the space. So this is first finger playing in F sharp. E, one, two, second finger on E string. I think I should play this on open E because I'm going to the E string anyway and it's pretty awkward to play four, two, three, four, one, two. You could try it, but I don't think you'll enjoy it. So let's mark an open E there and plan to cross the string. Oh, and that's so easy because it's just running. Two, three, E, one, two. 
It's like a little ascending scale. Nice and simple. Let's have a go at playing it. Mm -hmm. I'll move my stand out of the way. Four, two, three, e, one, two. Mm -hmm. All low twos, no sharps, all naturals. Ready, set, play. E, one, squash. Yeah, make sure that's a squashy too. It's got to be G natural. Ready, play. Did it ring? I'll tell you a secret. Okay, it's not that good a secret, but kind of is. Pretty good. E, F, G. One of my strings is called G. Oh, so if I get this G natural really nicely in tune, it's going to make my open G at the bottom of my violin ring in sympathy. Sympathetic resonance. We're always trying to play looking for that sympathetic resonance. I got it on my four. Made the open E string ring. That's a D, so it'll make your D string ring. If I'm in tune there. It's going to ring nicely because it will make this string vibrate in sympathy. Let's play it again. Ready, four on, play. Ready, go. Got it? Think we could play the first chunk? I do. Let's write it down quickly. I'll do all the writing. Oh, I'll do the hard work. It's fine. Here I go. Three, three, A, one, two, three, three, three. They're just the pitches that we're playing. I'm not talking about rhythm yet, okay? We're not stressing out about crotchets and quavers and minims and all that fancy shenanigans. That, we'll talk about that later. Right now we're just thinking about pitch because we know the rhythm from listening so well. Three on A, three on D, jump down, make sure you stop and cross. Legato slur, A, one, two, three on A. Three on D, up, up, bite, bite, staccato, slur. Got all that? Oh, I should put the bowing in at the start. We've got our two arrows pointing down, imaginary arrows pointing down, but that's my little memory trick. And then two arrows pointing up, okay? Again, it's just my little memory trick for how I think about my bow direction working. Let's play it. Ready, set, go. Cross. Up, up. Did you get it? One more time. Cross. Up. Okay, now I'm gonna do something a little bit sneaky. I'm gonna write the next phrase over the top of this one. Why would I do that? Maybe so you can see how similar they are. Four. Two, three, E, one, two, three, three. Oh, can you see how the shape's kind of the same? Have our starting note, and then we go walking up a scale again. Hmm. Four, two, three, E, one, two, three, three. We could say all kinds of fancy things about the G major scale and tetrachords here, but I'll just say, hmm, we're recycling parts of the G major scale. Here it is in the first phrase, G, A, B, C, D. And then in the second phrase, we take the top half of it. C, D, E, F, G, F sharp, G. Let's play the first phrase and the second phrase. Yun, da, 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 dum, ba, ba. Yun, da, 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 dum, ba, ba. And don't be scared of singing it. Singing is great practice for getting the rhythm and the pitch into your head so it comes out of your fingers and your bow much more easily. You don't need to be an opera singer with an amazing voice. Ready, third finger on, play. Up, up, set four on. Cool, let's go again. Ready, steady. Two. Up, up. 
One more time for good luck. Ready, third finger, play. Cross. Set four on. Congratulations. I'll see you in the next video for the rest of the first sentence.